Okay, so today we're going to be doing a Botox procedure. Um, our patient here has hyperhidrosis, excessive sweating. She has had um, many different treatments, topicals, um, various tea soaks to try to help remediate some of the hyperhidrosis. Unfortunately, it's been persistent. So we're going to do an iodine starch test. This is done before a Botox procedure to determine what areas have hyperhidrosis or excessive sweating. First thing we're going to do is wipe the bottom of the foot with a bit of alcohol, just to dry. Alcohol is a drying agent. Next we're going to get some iodine, paint it on the bottom of the foot. And a little bit of cornstarch on the tip of it. And I'm just going to gently paint it on. And instantly you'll see the dark areas of the areas that sweat a lot. And this chemical reaction that turns the starch black. It's a pretty simple test. As you can see, because we did the uh, block here, the right foot is a bit redder than the left foot and it's much warmer. It's one of the ways you can tell that the block is working. Uh, take a look at the pictures and determine where we're going to focus on. So I like to kind of keep the picture off to the side and I'll actually mark the areas that the patient is sweating a lot in. So this one particular uh, syringe will allow us to give us maybe 15 or so sites. Okay. going to go right into the subdermal tissue. Okay, so we're done with our uh, 100 units. Uh, we've given four cc's of uh, the Botox solution. And uh, just before the patient leaves, sometimes we just kind of ice the area. And that helps minimize the um, bruising. You could have some bruising from this.